Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtik channel. My name is Nehemiah and I'm so happy to have you on board. Now this is lesson uh, 2 on uh, NumPy random and uh, we are going to discuss random data distribution. But then uh, before we start, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, to the returning subscribers. Uh, thank you very much for your continued support. So guys, uh, first of all, let's understand what is data distribution. So guys, uh, basically data distribution is a list of all possible values and uh, how often uh, each value occurs. And so uh, such lists are important when working in the statistics in the data science. Now the random module offers method that returns randomly generated uh, data distributions. Talking about the uh, uh, random distribution, basically first of all let's understand what is a uh, random di distribution. And uh, basically is a set of random numbers that follow a certain probability density function of which a probability density function is a function that uh, describes a continuous probability. For example, a probability of all uh, uh, values in in an in an array. So, um, guys, uh, basically, you can generate a random numbers uh, based on the defined probabilities using the choice method of the return of the random module. Now, the choice method allows you to specify the probability for each uh, value. Uh, basically, guys, uh, the probability is set by a number between zero and the one. It cannot, uh, you know, surpass a one or a below zero. So which means that uh, the value will never occur at one. Uh, actually, the, the, the value actually at zero, the value will never occur. And then at one, it will mean that uh, the value will always uh, occur. So guys, I want to show you an example perhaps to generate a one-dimensional array containing perhaps 100 values, where uh, each value has to be three, perhaps three, five, seven, or nine. I'm going to show you in a, in a, in a few. And then uh, guys, basically we are going to uh, we are going to have uh, the probability for the value to be 3, we are going to set it to 0 0.1 and then uh, the probability for the value 5, uh, to be actually for the, for the value to be 5, we are going to set it, uh, we are going to set it to be 0 0.3 and then uh, the probability for the value to be 7, we are going to set it to be 0 0.6 and then uh, finally the probability of the value to be 9, we are going to set it to a zero. So guys, uh, before anything, guys, uh, in NumPy, first of all, we must import and these are NumPy and the random. Uh, we are going to, to import, um, actually, we are going to import this random from NumPy mo module. So I'm going to say from NumPy, from NumPy import, I uh, import random, random. Then uh, we are going to, uh, to, to create here an object. Uh, and then uh, we are going to assign it to this random random dot choice. I say we use this a uh, choice method um, to do it to uh, to define uh, probability. So um, here I'm gonna say choice, and then um, inside this uh, method choice method I'm gonna create here a list a list perhaps of I say three, and then also five and then uh, 7 and then uh, 9 now oh, sorry 9 should be 9 then uh, we are going to set the probability for each values here so uh, the probability perhaps um, for so first of all you, are, you must define you must assign it and then a uh, probability of uh, at the rate I said we are going to set it to 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 and then uh, the probability of 5, I'm going to set it to 0 0.3. And then uh, the probability of 7, I'm going to set it to 0 0.6. 0 0.6. And then also the probability of 9, I'm going to give it a 0, 0 0.0. And then uh, the size, uh, the size, guys, I'm going to, so let me say size. I'm gonna give it. Um, I said uh, basically um, 100. 100. Let me give it um, 100. Uh, 100. Then uh, let me uh, run the codes with the print function. Print function is used to execute the codes at the terminal. And so, guys, okay, so before we run these codes at the terminal, I've just realized that uh, we have an error here. And so here, I should remove these. Uh, seven 
because uh, it, it should be uniform like at 3 we assign it to we gave it a 0 0.1 then after 5 we set it to 0 0.3 then after 7 we set it to 0 0.6 and then after 9 we set it to 0 0.0 so you must it must you know be equal otherwise you'll have an error then what you do now click on the run button to run the calls uh, the calls at the terminal and then i guess you basically can see and that uh, it has done what it has you know uh, returned uh, it has generated a one dimensional array containing um you know values actually containing 100 values basically when you'll count these uh, 100 values where each value has to be either a three I said three, five, seven, or nine. So, guys, okay, so basically, this is how we can do it. This is how we can uh, generate a uh, one-dimensional array containing a specified number of values. Now, the sum of all probability numbers should be one. Basically, when you add these, uh, you know, these uh, items here, it should be one. Now, even if uh, you run the uh, this example, actually, this example that I've just shown you, uh, the value. Uh, the value will never be it will never occur at nine because we said uh, we say we gave nine to be uh, to be zero so perhaps let me try to change and uh, give it 0 0.6 uh, zero actually uh, should be nine here right and then uh, here i'm gonna change it perhaps and i uh, give it 0 point, uh, point, uh, six. And then uh, here let me perhaps give it zero zero so now when I, uh, I will run you'll never find uh, any seven value there so let me click on the run and then I guess you can see that uh, there's no any uh, probability of uh, you know nine occurring actually seven occurring because we have, we have given it uh, you know zero and so guys uh, um, we can uh, return arrays of, uh, of any shape in the size by specifying the shape in the size uh, parameter like uh, what we've done here uh, basically guys uh, let me show you an example perhaps the this uh, this this uh, this same example but then uh, we want to return a two-dimensional array with uh, perhaps three rows uh, each containing um, perhaps five uh, values so in that case here at the size we are going to give it um, perhaps if I want uh, you know uh, three rows and uh, five values in each row I'm gonna say three and uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, what in the uh, five and then I click on the run and then I guess I uh, basically you can see that uh, we have done what we have uh, you know returned uh, we have returned uh, a two-dimensional array with the three rows and uh, in each row we have uh, five uh, you know uh, five uh, random uh, values actually five values so guys uh, basically this is all about uh, you know random data distribution and uh, basically I guess by now you understand uh, random data distribution this is what I wanted to show you and I guess you've understood until next time this is Nehemiah goodbye